In this MedMastery lesson, I will focus on standard empirical therapy for infective endocarditis. The primary purpose of antimicrobial therapy is to eradicate infection. When multiple antibiotics are required to treat an infection, we sometimes use a combination of microbicidal agents that kill and microbostatic agents that inhibit bacteria. Note that all antimicrobial agents used to treat Enterococcus species are only bacteriostatic. Microbostatic agents have a high relapse rate since they only inhibit but do not kill bacteria. There are several challenges in treating infective endocarditis. Most infected vegetations have a high organism density with many microorganisms deep below the surface. Antibiotics are less effective because of slow bacterial growth and diminished cell wall production. As a result, extended courses of IV bactericidal agents are generally recommended for treating infective endocarditis. These extended courses of IV antibiotics are given through a central line, like a percutaneously inserted central catheter commonly referred to as a PICT line. In many cases, the initial therapy is empirical while awaiting the results of blood cultures, and the chosen regimen may have to be revised once the pathogen and the antimicrobial susceptibilities are known. The optimal empiric regimen provides broad coverage. Ideally, an infectious disease specialist should be consulted to help choose empirical therapy. In choosing an empiric regimen for infective endocarditis, we must decide what the most likely causative microorganisms are. We can make an informed decision based on the patient characteristics. We must consider whether the patient injects drugs, has an implantable cardiac device, has an associated genitourinary infection source, has cirrhosis, has chronic skin conditions, has a burn wound infection, or has poorly controlled diabetes. If the patient doesn't have any of the specifically mentioned conditions, we will consider whether they have an acute or subacute presentation of native valve endocarditis. If the patient has prosthetic valve endocarditis, we will consider whether they had their valve replacement surgery less than or more than a year ago. Each of these situations will guide our treatment choices, and we'll explore these more in the next lesson. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.